friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you back again to another session and another video where we bring you interesting news. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for liking our contents and thank you for always being there. I really appreciate you guys so, so well. I'd like to quickly crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. All right, straight about to the news. IPOB has liberated a Boeing community from terrorists, says Namde Kano. Namde Kano, the head of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, said on Monday that his supporters had liberated the, vi the village of Nkaleke in Igweagu, an area of the local government of Izi in Ebonyi State, which he described as terrorist Fulani. Kano said that for the first time in 15 years, women from the community returned to their farms without fear of being raped or killed. The head of IPOP made the disclosure in a statement he personally signed. Kano says, if I don't do this post, their friends around the world will never appreciate the enormous amount of human and material sacrifice that the IPOP is making to free every inch of Biafran land under the occupation of supported Fulani Janjaweed terrorists by the Nigerian military and in some cases. The first time in 15 years, our mothers can now return to our farms without the threat of being raped and beheading by the Fulani terrorists. It should be noted that the advanced group of jihadist Fulani Janjaweed has come to Ibiagu Easy local government area since 2005 to secure our land for this new wave of Janjaweed arrivals, which we have already witnessed recently. Since then, they have killed, raped, and cultivated our land. It wasn't until the new influx started to arrive that we decided it was enough. All the terrorists full and Janja with and Miyuti Allah in our forest and our farmlands will be evicted, Namdekano claims and promises. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? IPOP has come out to say the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano, has come out to say that they have liberated a boy community from the hands of the Fulani headsmen who he tagged as terrorists. Well, what do you think, guys? What were done? What were the activities that were carried out? How were they evicted? All these details were not released, but be that as it were, probably if nothing has been done, then uh, he probably wouldn't have come out to say something has been done. So I want to agree, I want to believe that they found a way to probably chase out the Fulani headsmen from that community. And one will continue to ask this question, uh, what has the government been doing all this while? Well, these people have been under this attack. For how long will the people of the Southeast continue to remain under this attack of the Fulani headsmen? For how long will their farmlands, you know, be <coughs> taken over by the Fulani headsmen? What are the plans of the Fulani headsmen and why is it that the Fulani headsmen are killing, maiming, taking over farmlands and not actually allowing the farmers to go back to farm? Despite the fact that the president has said that farmers should go back to farm as there is no money to import food. What are the uh, modalities or measures that have been put in place to at least forestall any uh, to forestall any clashes between the farmers and the headers as it may now from the look of things 
a lot of things has been left to the, left, uh, into the hands of uh, people to take loss into their hands, which to me does not make sense. It's not right. Now, it is now IPOP who are taking, you know, the taking on the responsibility of government to help free the people of some communities from the hands of the headsmen, which ordinarily should have been the duty or the job of the government as it were. Well, guys, be that as it is, how long are we going to continue like this? Thanks to IPOP and thanks to the Igbo men, thanks for, to the Igbo leaders, thanks for, to the community leaders for helping to liberate the community of Easy, Igbe Agu Easy in the Easy local government area from the hands of the headsmen. And we are glad that, uh, happy to hear that they will be returning back to their farms to be able to, you know, farm and put food on their own table. One would wonder what have they been eating all this while, how have they been surviving? Well, it's what it is. Let's quickly drop out the comment section. Let's hear what people are saying. Frederick Mwona says, I pop one family. Applause. Emeka Obedigwe says, I pop is here. I love you people. Another person says, can this albino just keep quiet for once? Haba, all these Momo followers will come for me now. Buska says, nice work done by I pop and our able leader. Shalom. Another person says, great news. I don't get I don't get my people. That news didn't explain exactly what he or the group did. It said we decided it was enough. But what did they do to curtail the terrorists? Well, it was not said, but uh, if something has not been done, uh, probably they shouldn't have come out to say something was done. But it remains to be seen. Osita Clifford says, all hail Biafra. Anonymous says, I trust Nam De Kano, a truest freedom fighter without business mind. Chukuma Isaac says, Up you, IPOP. Toby Okafor says, How? I'm begging to doubt you guys. Ibina Daniel says, One family, one love, and one nation. So, commendations are pouring in for Nam De Kano for achieving this uh, light of. Uh, you know, reaching out to those communities and uh, helping to liberate the people of uh, Igbeagu in the easy local government area of Emoni State from the hands of the Flanny Headsmen. Well, if since IPOP is claiming uh, the ones they are the ones who actually did that carried out the activities, although what they did we were not told. I hope the government of the Ebony State would not come out and also make such claims as it were. A bit that as it is, we, we, we keep our fingers crossed, you know, and uh, we'll expect to see what happens anytime soon. But guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news stories? What do you think? Do you agree and believe that these people have been liberated truly and that the full enhancement have left the community totally? Hope they won't be coming back anytime soon. And I uh, hope those communities also will be able to go back to their farms, will go back to their businesses, uh, uh, go back to their business as normal before. Well, it remains to be seen. I stand to be corrected. Whichever way it goes, we are going to monitor the situation and uh, find a way to report back to you guys. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Now, Namdekano is still uh, at loggerheads with Asari Dokubo, and um, you know they are throwing words at each other, making claims here and there, and all what have you. I just hope and uh, pray, or probably believe, that you know they find a way to reach an agreement or a settlement, as it were. So it remains to be seen how soon they can put this behind them, instead of trading words amongst themselves, making claims of um who duped who how much money was involved in the business and all what have you calling names one calling another person coward one saying one is ranting and all what have you i don't think this is what they need at this particular point in time where they are should be, where they should be talking about how to achieve biafra well it remains to be seen how this how they can navigate this particular 
troubled waters that they find themselves in at the moment. But be that as it were, kindly drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.